I started having second thoughts about selling this because I've had so many requests and uh, I just posted it for $20, but then I just Googled it and it's like, with tax, it's like $157 at Walmart where I bought it. So, okay, so here's what happened. I raised the price to $80 in all the ads and then uh, the girl who was supposed to pick it up at noon today message said, oh, I didn't see the new price, uh, I'm not interested anymore. And then another girl messaged like, oh, you just raised the price, uh, that's too much. And I think I just, I've been chatting with Kathleen and, I'm, and we've decided, no, just get rid of it, move on, spend the day doing auditions, not, don't try to quibble over $10 here or there. Also, it's useful to have somebody actually come pick it up. So, you know, if somebody wants to do that, great. Okay, I took the plastic mattress bag that I've kept my eco superhero costume in for years and I put the thing in that and then I took a Facebook uh, bag that I normally take to the gym and I stuffed it in that and that ripped a bit so then I've put this on top and somebody messaged about the bed and mattress this morning or last night or something and I just got back to them and I said sorry it's taken and they just texted back please remove your ad <laughs> who are you people <laughs> like just move on with your lives oh look I just noticed I have another Facebook bag huh that's got some other stuff in it that I'm gonna sell okay well I think I've crammed the mattress topper into enough bags. Now let's sell it. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I think I'm a bit sick. Uh, somebody commented yesterday saying, you seem a bit under the weather. And I think they were talking about my live broadcast on Friday and I was getting sniffly, but I thought I was okay. But now I realize I've been sick for a couple of days. And last night I went to bed at 11, but listened to podcast till about 12. And then I woke up at 2 a.m. and I thought, is it morning? But it wasn't, it was 2 a.m. And I couldn't breathe through my nose. So I took the last bit of my cough syrup and then I also, uh, and then I also downed a Neo Citrin in cold water and I took another melatonin. I took two melatonins at midnight and then I took an, a third one at two in the morning and I think I eventually fell asleep and then I woke up around 9.30 today. So I guess that's okay. But I woke up with that bad taste in my mouth because I gorged myself with food just before bed. So here's the new plan. I'm setting some alarms on my phone today. At six, I start eating dinner. At 7, I'm done eating. At 9 o'clock, I'm done the phone. I get into bed, I listen to podcasts. I listen to podcasts for an hour or whatever in the darkness, and at 10 o'clock, the phone goes off, and that's when I sleep, and then I guess I start to see when I naturally wake up. It'll be 6 or 7, and then I'll be super productive. So that's the new plan. And yes, I realize it's not a new plan. I say that almost every single day. But it's really happening now, because look, I've been selling stuff, so things are happening. Oh, but I am really tempted to sell my other bed now. I keep getting more requests for the bed. Uh, and I also had a request today about the pillows. Somebody said they're, uh, they're trying to put a bed together for a Syrian refugee family and they were asking the condition of the mattress. And of course, last night I already sold the mattress. But now I'm like, should I just get rid of my other bed? But no, I gotta remember, I'm still a human being. I still have to sleep. Let's stop this. Okay, uh, I'm gonna eat something now. I'm taking my cardboard boxes. Ugh down to the room here because they don't want me going down the elevator chute and I'm a good citizen but it looks like they're painting the room so I have to just leave it on the ground there. Those were like five pizza boxes that I guess Kathleen has brought over the past three parties so that's what you guys are missing when you don't show up to my parties but you can watch me eat them virtually. Actually I'm fine that you don't come because I get deal. I have like days worth of pizza after those parties so I'm glad we have minimal people coming. I think what I want to do is get uh, a hanging shoe rack here and then I can put all my shoes there and I can see them and then I can lose that and then I can use this closet space more efficiently. So I'll check on Kijiji and sites like that, see if anybody's selling one used. But there's one on Amazon that I like and I think I've messaged them and asked if I can have one for free and nobody's given me one but shoe racks probably don't need reviews as much as other stuff so I'll just buy one. I'm trying to rethink the placement of my things because uh, I've got food under the sink there, but I think I could put the garbage cans under the sink. Uh, so I want to take the food and put it in this drawer, but the alcohol's in that drawer. So I'm going to put the alcohol on display on a little table. Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. There goes my, my mattress topper with her little dog, Washkaway. I hope, I hope Washkaway enjoys sleeping on it as much as I did. Shout out to George T, who is not George Takai, even though I made that little joke. Uh, he works at SiteGround, which sponsors my website with web hosting. 
and he's helping me redirect my new joshrackless.com domain. And he said he's going to follow me, so hi. All right, Kathleen's walking to the grocery store to get some bread that she likes, and then and she's going to Starbucks to get a coffee, and I'm going to go with her so I can get the Starbucks points for her drink, and I'm going to walk to the ATM and deposit my sweet cash from all my sales. Change of plans. I asked if I could use my app, but the Starbucks only works if you pay with your app, and so that didn't make any sense. It's only two ninety nine drink anyway, so no points for me. Oh, by the way, I just realized we should be supporting our Queen and John Starbucks. Sorry, Nadia and Ty, uh, but she's just a Starbucks fan, she says. But I'll come do something with you guys soon. What is it about this squirrely bread that you like? Low glycemic index. Okay. So it doesn't raise your blood sugar. Yeah. And it's or mostly organic. And Bark thins. I have the pretzel one, dark chocolate, salty sweet goodness. Oh, send me some and I'll be your ambassador, Bark thins, <laughs> and give her a raise. Okay, that was Riddy back there. And she's just gonna add me because she says there are too many Riddies on Instagram. It must be a very common name like like Josh. Alright, Riddy's gonna be famous. What do you got there? Popcorn. Popcorn. Oh man. Artificial flavor, all organic, yeah. organic Doritos, yeah, that's organic that. popcorn, smart food, yeah. white cheddar. Oh man. You should have a party at your place and we can come and just eat all your food. <laughs> yeah, and the, the price is she just revealed that it's her day one. So very exciting, congratulations. Kicking butt. Okay, when did I go to the grocery store with Kathleen? Uh, it seems it was long enough that this beef that's been sitting in the fridge is starting to turn brown on its own, and apparently that will kill me. So let's cook this right now. Ho ho, that is a lot of meat. And that's not the first time somebody said that in my apartment. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Anyways, there's so much. I'm using a couple of frying pans and I've got that on standby for when I'm done this. Huh? I found like a tiny little piece, a little scrap, this thing and this thing, so two scraps. And I don't like to waste food, so I'm heating up the pan again just to cook those two little bits of beef. Queen V just replied to my story and asked, what's the expiry date on that? Well, I was asking myself that question and it looks like it wasn't printed. Like I don't see it anywhere, do you? So, do you think I can sue them? Oh wait, hold off the lawsuit. I just looked over here. Uh, best before November 30th. So, what's today, December 3rd? Ah, uh, heh, that's plenty of time, right? Okay, remember yesterday I said the only time I seem to be able to get something on time is if I'm planning for two things and then the middle thing is removed and then I'm on time for the thing that was later. Well, I was planning to go to the gym like after I stopped eating and I ate a lot of crap. I think I went through like five butter tarts. I think I'm finally done the butter tarts now. So I'm like, okay, I better go to the gym uh, so that I can be tired and I can sleep, but also because I got another email from Dashing Date. Uh, this is like a speed dating website that I drew cartoons for a couple of years ago. And they keep asking, hey, can you come to these events? We're short on men, we'll give you a discount. And so I emailed back, I said, listen, I'm trying to cut down on spending because I'm not working at a full-time job right now, but I'm willing to do a cartoon in return for a ticket. And uh, the owner replied, yeah, let's do it. So I'm going to a speed dating thing on Tuesday and I figure I should like, you know, slim down. I've got like a whole day to work out. Anyways, that's the other reason I should go to the gym. But now it's like four minutes to nine o'clock. And remember my new plan was at nine o'clock, no more phone, get into bed, and then just listen to a podcast in the darkness. And by 10 o'clock, hopefully I'm asleep and then that will launch my new life where I'll be so productive. I'll start working at six in the morning. I'll be doing uh, a live talk show every morning. I'll be doing my celebrity interviews. So, okay. I think this is the earliest I've ever been in bed other than like if I've had to catch like a 5 a.m. flight or something. So let's try it. Let's try this big experiment. Let's see if I'm super productive tomorrow. I will see you in the morning. Oh, and I really need to try this. Like no more phone blue light thing because I'm out of cold medicine, so I can't tranquilize myself like a horse like I did last night, so I'm, I'm counting on melatonin. Oh, my, I went to a French psych, psychotherapist once. She said to have a shot of brandy before bed. Maybe I'll do that too.